Hey guys, it's Mindy Hegstrom here with another episode. There are some very important things that you need to do in order to shut down your furnace for the summer season. All the steps we're gonna be going through today can be found in your owner's manual. If you get stuck or have any additional questions, just refer to it. First, be sure to observe all safety precautions found in your owner's manual. Second, be sure that the fire is completely out and that the coals have had enough time that it's completely cool. Step number three, empty all the ashes and scrape out the firebox. So, this is the inside of your firebox. There's a variety of different tools that you can employ in order to clean out your firebox. A shovel like this is one example. Upon scraping out your ash or using whatever tool you prefer to empty the ash, make sure you dump your ash in a steel container or a non-combustible bin. Be sure to remove all the ash from your firebox. If you do not, and the ash builds up, it's going to develop moisture. Refer to our 140 degrees video to see why that's a bad thing. So I just cleaned out the remainder of the ash with a shop vac. And as you can see, I got it pretty clean. You must, and let me be super clear, you must remove all the ash from your furnace because dry ash is harmless. But if that ash sits over the summer, it will collect moisture. Ash and that moisture will combine and create an acidic paste that will eat through your steel. You cannot allow ash to sit in your furnace over the summer. Step four, make sure your furnace is absolutely full of water, properly treated water. I'm not talking sorta of full or halfway full, completely full to the line. Step five, properly wash and clean your filter. Check out our other episode where I show you how to properly clean and flush out that filter. Step six, follow the proper water treatment procedures. Be sure to send in your water sample to the laboratory so you can make sure that your warranty stays valid. Step seven, make sure your chimney cap is securely placed to prevent any rainwater from coming into your firebox. Step number eight, be sure to turn off your indoor controls. For example, if you have a forced air furnace with a second thermostat, be sure to turn off the power to the second thermostat. So now you know how to properly shut down your furnace for the summer season. Enjoy the warm weather. Stay tuned for additional episodes, including an upcoming video on how to start up your furnace this fall. For now, I am your host, Mindy Hegstrom, and we'll see you soon.